Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Today we have with us Mr. Sarthak who has just been placed with TCS at the package of 3.36 LPA. So I would like to welcome you Sarthak on our platform. Thank you, sir. And Sarthak, uh, from the whole team of Talent Battle, a huge congratulations from our side on getting placed and starting your career with such a big MNC. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, so uh, Sarthak is here with us uh, to share his hiring experience with TCS because TCS has already launched its, its on-campus drive. So this video could help a number of students of 2024 batch, batch uh, those who are preparing for TCS and or those who are still in process. So Sarthak, uh, we would like you to share each and every important information with us today. Okay. So let us start, Sarthak. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like you to introduce yourself so that our audience comes to know, like, who are you? Hi, everyone. My name is Sarthak. I am 2023 pass out and I got selected in TCS on campus, Ryu. And I was a master class student. Okay, okay. That's great, Sarthak. So, uh, Sarthak, first question to you is, uh, like you mentioned, it was an on-campus drive. So, how many rounds were there, basically? Actually, sir, uh, there is a two rounds. Okay. First one is a uh, aptitude round and then technical interview. Okay, just two rounds are there. The written test and uh, the interview. Yes, sir. Okay. So, let us start with the round one. So, can you just brief on uh, about round one, like how how it was and how many sections were there? Okay, sir. Uh, so, there are two sections. First one is a part one, like foundation section, where all your aptitudes uh, covers, like basic, like numeral, uh, numerical ability, reasoning ability, and verbal ability. Uh, each section has uh, 25 minutes and uh, 20 questions. Then second one is a part B, which is a very uh, like uh, very important for the digital TCS digital first one is advanced cons then advanced logical and then advanced coding question and uh, first advanced cons for the 20 minutes then advanced logical for the 15 minutes and the advanced coding for the 55 minutes of time limit there are uh, two questions uh, in advanced coding question so uh, first one is a basic and second one is a uh, like medium level a DSA problem to solve it. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, let us start with the part A right now. Okay, so you mentioned like uh, there it was an okay. aptitude test. So uh, like 25 mm -hmm. uh, minutes for solving 20 questions. So like what were the type of questions mm -hmm. or any important topics that you remember like that was most repeated? Actually, uh, there are in uh, cons. So, so uh, in aptitude section, part first, there are problems on static, percentage, time and work, area and uh, measuration, number system, and all all the like uh, profit and loss, speed, distance, times. All these are important topics for the aptitude. Okay. Okay. Okay, so were you able to clear all the questions or there were some questions which you could not clear? No, there are some questions uh, I, I could not clear. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so like what were the what were the overview? What, what could be the overview? How you can rate this test? Like it was moderate or easy level or a difficult level test? It's a moderate level test. Okay. So moving further. So next, uh, you mentioned like after your aptitude, uh, there was part B also. That was basically on the computer fundamentals, the coding part, right? So how was that? Yes, yes. And were you able to like switch Sir, between uh, the questions, a... uh, between the aptitude questions? Switching was allowed or not? No, switching was not allowed. Okay, you have to answer a particular question, then only you can move to next question. 
yeah you can switch in uh, subsections but you can uh, cannot switch in like a uh, part two directly part b so mm -hmm. you have to complete part one first part part a then you you can switch to part b no in part a let us take it as like part a first section uh, there are let us say you mentioned like there were 20 questions so can we just skip yes. between the questions uh, like move to the next question then come back to the previous one or no it was not allowed yeah, you can skip uh, like uh, questions and you can come back after some time. Okay, okay. Like switching was allowed then, but not allowed, between not. the parts. No, not between the parts. Okay, okay. Okay, so yes, continue with the part B. Yes. Okay, sir. The part B uh, consists of two uh, two questions, uh, like two coding questions. Uh, like first one is aptitude, advanced aptitude, like advanced cons, advanced logics. And then uh, like... Uh, Third subsection was a uh, coding, like it's cover uh, majority of marks, like 55 marks. And there is a, a first a coding question was a simple, like uh, print a number to one or uh, 10 or like simple questions, very simple question or uh, like uh, input and output uh, type questions. And second uh, question was uh, like mid, mid level questions to uh, like uh, in a DSA. Okay. So how many questions out of those two coding questions you cleared? Uh, I clear first one. Uh, okay. I cannot clear second one. Just, just uh, pass one one test, in, uh, test case in second question. Okay, okay. And uh, you also mentioned like there was advanced or quants, right? So what were the type mm -hmm. of questions? Like it was the similar type uh, or it was more difficult? It's it is a more difficult than a uh, previous one. Okay. So topics were same. Yeah, like averages, profit loss, and, the, and all the topics are like same. Okay. Okay. So, but oh, these are the level three questions. Level three questions we can. Uh, okay. Was okay. there any negative marking or not? There is a no negative marking. Okay. So, like, how much percentage of questions you think like you answered correctly? I think uh, uh, I like sixty percent, sixty percent of the overall test questions I answered. Okay, okay. So, and what was the overall duration of the test? One sixty-five minutes. Okay, okay, got it. So after the test, uh, like uh, when did you got your final results? Like you cleared the first round. Uh, first round, I got a uh, mail from the TCS. Uh, so it's uh, after 10 days, 10 to 15 days. Okay. Okay. And uh, then your interview was scheduled. So moving yes. further to the interview part right now. So you mentioned like it was a technical interview so it was only technical or it was technical plus hr no it's uh, it's just a technical interview first okay so okay so let us start with the technical interview so what was the duration of your technical interview uh, it's hardly 10 minutes only 10 minutes okay and what were the type of yeah. questions that they asked you like first they they ask me to introduce uh, introduce yourself and then uh, they ask me the what is your preferred language then they ask some oops concept like six oops concept and they are uh, ask me what are the four pillars Exp explain briefly okay and then uh, they said me give an example for the oops concept in your uh, uh, from your everyday life they ask me some uh, sorting algorithms and they give me a coding question to solve like uh, the switching between uh, between the two elements like swapping question that's hmm. all about the technical round okay and that coding question which they asked you like you need to present your screen and then uh, do the question or you have to just verbally solve that question like uh, i have to only uh, uh, give him the approach like uh, the okay. logic explained to the interview. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how about your resume based question? Uh, were there any resume based question or no resume based question was asked you? 
actually they asked me the about the project on my uh, final year so okay. uh, my so some uh, questions on on the my project main project of last year okay okay and what was your uh, project my project was graph leap disease detection using machine learning and artificial intelligence okay and what type of questions did they ask you like from project uh, like uh, which yeah from project like which technology are using which algorithms like all these types of question okay and it just took the 10 minutes to like ask these much questions or uh, like they asked like you were answering and they were cutting down your answers no it's a uh, uh, no no cutting down like it's not a rapid of higher questions mm -hmm. it's a very uh, oh. smooth experience they are okay. very uh, like very good interview okay did they ask you any like out of the box question which you could not answer? Mm. There is a, uh, I think there is a one uh, one or two questions from the database. Mm. Actually, I don't uh, in uh, idea how in like uh, advanced DBM DBMMS questions. So they asked me about that. So I said uh, like I don't know about this. So it's okay. Okay. Did you remember the questions? Could you tell us? No, sir, uh, because I don't have any uh, like interest in like. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay fine. So uh, when did you got your results? Like you cleared the interview? Uh, uh, like uh, after a technical interview, there is a HR interview. So like, like okay. in five minutes, mm -hmm. uh, they uh, ask me like same questions, like introduce yourself, like where are you from? And what is the uh, like? Uh, what is the famous place uh, there? And uh, like, uh, they asked me a simple question like, why, why you do you want to join us? Mm. So I give uh, give him the reason like uh, TCS is a uh, like my uh, MNC, MNC. I have to learn more things in uh, if I join the TCS and the valuable company, IT company, all, all the things. Then uh, they they asked me like, are you willing to relocate in India? all the locations so i said yes then like they asked me last question like do you have any question for us mm. then i said no okay you didn't ask any question to them no okay okay no issues okay so like you mentioned like after just five minutes it was your uh, hr interview so like uh, the interviewer remained the same or uh, the panelist changed and it was another link which you have to join or the same person started asking you the yeah, actually they are they... Nee. both 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 persons are different okay like uh, first uh, technical interview uh, person is different and second one hr hr is different so another link was uh, sent to my email and okay. i have to i join. have to join the link okay okay yes yes within 5 minutes only yeah uh, 5 minutes okay okay so what were your expectations as soon as you and your HR interview? It was sure like you are you have cleared all the tests? No, sir. There is a, I think, uh, all like I know and 90% of the all interviews and all mm -hmm. going good. But the 10% part like, like, hit, like I, I'm in doubt it's clearing or not like that. Okay. Okay. So when did you receive your uh, final offer letter after the interview? after 15 days 15 days okay okay so uh, at last sarthak i would like to ask you like what were your uh, like uh, preparation um, strategy uh, could you please share us uh, with us so that other students can also prepare in that way and what other efforts which can be put to clear the digital role like you have been placed at ninja profile right so what do you think like mm -hmm. are, is the difference uh, for clearing the digital role what uh, more efforts can be put up okay so uh, sir uh, i want to tell you that uh, more focus on the aptitude section because the, uh, if you don't clear the first section then you can't uh, go for the digital so focus on the first section like aptitude section uh, so uh, so i focus on aptitude like and then i go for the coding uh, section like if you clear aptitude plus first coding 
question then your chances for a digital is uh, very uh, more and if you solve second coding question there is a hundred percent possibility to you uh, get with the digital role so my preparation plan was like uh, i enrolled for the master class uh, offered by talent battle so i get to know about the talent battle on my instagram account so i started following master class they like th they launched master class and i joined it so uh, in the evening there is a session for a uh, two hours aptitude six to eight and i just uh, started practice with the class i didn't give any extra time for the uh, classes i just cover up all the syllabus in the classes time like six to eight uh, like two hours for the aptitude and two hours for the coding session and i i done with the uh, all the tcs nqt exam okay that's great sarthak that's great so like master class helped you uh we are glad like because all the courses here at talent battle are aimed to get you the success in your placements and we wish you best of luck and uh, Yes, sir. like have you started working with TCS right now or like uh, you didn't get the joining letter? Uh, no, I didn't get the joining letter, but uh, it's uh, soon uh, coming. I okay. Think. Okay. I think one in two months. Yeah. Okay. We wish you best of luck for that as well. So, okay, Sarthak, it was very nice talking to you. So as, as you shared, like, uh, let me summarize for our uh, attendees, like uh, the TCS drive, uh, there were mainly three sections uh, like three rounds the first round uh, was the uh, aptitude round where they asked the questions in two parts part a and part b where sarthak has clearly mentioned like in part a there was like a normal aptitude question based on logical quant and verbal so and later on it was part b where was advanced quants and advanced logical with two coding questions to solve out of which one was easy and one was a slight difficult so both questions uh, like Sarthak was able to clear the one question and other question he tried and he solved one test case. Later on, there were two interview rounds uh, like uh, it was a side by side interview with the gap of five minutes. One was technical and another one was HR. So thank you, Sarthak, for sharing such a detailed information. Hope uh, all the audience who was listening to us today have cleared all their doubts. And still, if you have any kind of doubts, or still if you are preparing for a TCS or any other company so and you want a guidance a free guidance session can be given to you uh, by talent battle our mentor will reach out to you you just need to log into our uh, website uh, send us a message or uh, connect with us through our social media channels like Instagram or WhatsApp and our mentors will surely connect with you and provide you a complete roadmap on how to get placed in less number of days and with smart work so thank you once again uh, for joining with talent battle and subscribe to our youtube channel for getting uh, more information in, for, from the same way and thank you sarthak have a nice day thank you sir thank you so much